back. It's time now for some throwback Thursday fun with a look at what was happening in Pittsburgh in 1952. And here with this week's installment of the Pit Parade. It's the Pit Parade, the picture story of the Pittsburgh scene from the KDKA TV archives. The moon was full over Manchester this week in 1952. Moon as in moonshine. Federal agents raided a house on Charles Street this week and found a still, a big one. The bootleggers had a slick, sophisticated operation there. Hidden in a secret room in the basement was a 100-gallon copper still. 48 gallons of moonshine and everything needed to make much more of it were there as well. Looks like this still did a brisk business. But all its business went down the drain this week. No more white lightning. No more discrimination. That was the goal of city council. This week, council held public hearings on the Fair Employment Bill to prevent employers from discriminating based on race, creed, or national origin. Council was expected to approve the anti-discrimination law overwhelmingly. An overwhelming task for city firefighters this week. A huge fire on the outskirts of downtown, a warehouse on 2nd Avenue was burning, and the flames spread to the hillside below Mercy Hospital and Duquesne University. 200 firefighters fought the flames and dodged falling walls and flying embers. The fire burned itself out by morning, not before it reached six alarms. And here's an alarm for you. Imagine waking up to the city's new air raid siren. 140 decibels mounted on the back of a truck. The city tested it this week by stationing police cars around town to find out how far away the siren could be heard. We were all ears this week in 1952, saying cheerio on video on this Throwback Thursday. I'm John Burnett with the Pit Parade.